Hello. I'm going to show you now a diagnostic buffer. This is a tool to detect errors in your program to see why PLC is in the stop mode. So this is very important tool and you should know it. So I have here a simple program. Uh, two blocks. It is OB1 main program and FB1 lift program. And to demonstrate how it works, diagnostic buffer, I will simulate an error. I have uh, an OB1 one call of FB1. So I will firstly upload to PLC the OB1 and FB1. And in next step, I will delete FB1. So the program will call uh, FB1, which not exist. So let's check it. This is uh, one call in FV1, in OB1. OK. Let's open PLC SIM. Now I can upload everything to PLC. I will run the PLC to check that everything is alright. OK. PLC is in run mode. I will stop PLC now and go online to PLC. And now I will delete lift FB1. OK. So now the PLC should go to stop mode. And uh, we have a fail here, so the PLC doesn't work now. And we want to check why this lamp appeared and why we have an error. So firstly, we are going to hardware. And we have to go online with PLC and we see that PLC doesn't work. This is a red icon. We are clicking at CPU and go to module information. In module information we have diagnostic we have diagnostic butter buffer and uh, there are information why PLC is in the stop mode, why the error appear and something like that. So simply we have information that stop is caused by programming error. OB not loaded or not possible or no FRB breakpoint in user program, cyclic program. So we know that something is going wrong with uh, the block, so we can open the block. I have opened it at, at uh, second screen, I will drag it here. So it opened a block, OB1, and we have the call in red color. So something is wrong with, with this call. So and that is why I uh, deleted uh, FB1 because uh, very easily here we can see uh, that uh, something is wrong with the with the call. There is a lot of errors which uh, you can detect uh, with diagnostic buffer. For example, I will show uh, next uh, STL lessons in direct addressing and uh, error with addressing is easy to find uh, with a diagnostic buffer tool so uh, please follow and check for your own what happen if you will put again a fb1 block to plc now uh, you can see how useful is uh, this tool and i hope that diagnostic buffer will help you to detect errors in your program Thank you for watching.